Hey YouTube, this is Kevin with Nemo's Reef. We're back with a beautiful build at Vinny's Aquarium. We're going to start at a door. Uh, it's a unique door. It's going to be like a little tiny Costco door, but it allows us access into his back room without really having to disturb the rest of the house. But look at that. So this is going to be a 600 gallon build. We did custom plumbing to match all of the theming he has. It's got a serious amount of lights there for the XR between XR30s and XR15s. I put them on a garage door lift so we can lift and lower the lights if we really needed to get into the tank, but haven't got there yet. Um, this is a cool build because that line, that black line, runs all the way down to his basement. So over here on the front side of the tank, it is a bare bottom uh, aquarium. So we put a series of MP40s along the bottom of the tank to help keep the detritus from forming. And man, look at all that coralline algae that's already starting to encrust and cover up the bottom of the tank. A little later, we're actually going to have um, a fast forward of the corals in the tank. So you can see how much growth has actually happened in the tank. So it's a lot of soft coral now. We're going to load this thing up with some SPS pieces later down the road. But over onto the equipment side of the room, I want to showcase some of the things we did here. So there is a way to drain and fill the tank without using any buckets or any siphons. And the double Herbie overflow system works really well here. It's a nice quiet aquarium. But... That line will run down to the basement and we can actually pump water from the basement to the tank by just flipping a simple light switch. Uh, no running back and forth. But So this is our MP40 panel. We've got some uh, L2s running it, some MP60s and MP40s, a nice good skimmer and filter roller. So we do like to try to label all of our plugs and the wires just to make sure that everything is easy to take care of down the road. Um, but you know, wiring is one of the most important things in the aquarium hobby. I think it makes the tank much easier to take care of. And whenever you have an easy, convenient tank, it's always going to be a successful one. Um, but we've got all of the power blocks here, the apex system, and we had to kind of work it within the confines of that cabinet. This tank runs a CO2 canister for the calcium reactor. Um, we've got that front chamber that's going to get started as a refugium a little later down the road. The filter rollers that get pumped through, the skimmer, an 80 watt UV sterilizer. I've got the dual calcium reactor set up there. So I know soft coral don't really need all of that, but we're planning on doing some more intense things. And then there's a pump that pumps down to the basement for his chiller that sits down there and it pumps back up. So this is a unique setup that I did. It's got a spray bar system down at the bottom of the sump. That is going to keep the detritus from settling down onto the bottom of the sump. The name of the game on this tank was to try to keep everything nice and clean and crisp. We'll see how that goes in the future, but for now, it is a detritus-free tank. So we did some nice plumbing through and underneath the tank, but down into the basement, we've got the water mixing station, the chiller, the uh, RODI unit for auto top off work so that little pump there pumps the water from the chiller uh, back up to the sump and and that just alleviates any noise that he has to deal with in the office setting um, we wanted to keep our tank very safe so the whole thing is inside of this giant vat and that vat is designed to catch any water that might come out from a catastrophic RO leak or any water coming out from the water mixing tub. But those are my lines to run from the basement all the way to the top of the tank. It was a fun thing fishing the vinyl through. 
So we tapped into the um, air heater line. So that way, if that vat ever becomes full of 300 gallons worth of water, it actually will drain outside. But to be safe, we've stuck the RO unit inside that vat. There's a leak tray for the RO unit. So I think we're pretty well covered for any leak and disaster in this setting here. The chiller even sits on a tray that leaks back down into that vat if we have a, a leak into the chiller. Um, so this is the fanciest quarantine tank you're going to find. It's got a little bit of everything for him. Man, we're quarantining some fish to let them go back up to the top of the tank. So here's the fast forward of the aquarium uh, several months down the road. So we had some really nice growth with the soft corals. We've got some SPS starting up top. And we've added some, some decent amount of fish here. Uh, the clam has been doing extremely well with all of that lighting, but the soft coral has just exploded in this tank. It is something that we have to trim back repeatedly, but we've done a great job of keeping this tank nice and maintained and clean for you guys. Thanks for listening.